We're about to build a gigantic empire, and it all starts with this guy. He's not particularly busy yet, but that's about to change. We click on this, and we get growth. Every 10 clicks, and he gets a new friend. But every good civilization needs fire. If we research this, we can build wood huts. While that's being researched, we're going to try and force people into this world, but we're already at capacity. And now we can start using the wood we have to build those huts. 20 clicks gets them a hut, and that's more than my people usually get. We're up to 10 people, and we gained a worker unit because of that, so they're generating food all by themselves. And that's really helping us. Look at the world grow. The more huts we add, the more people we can fit. We currently have 30 free spaces. I guess they probably deserve tools at this point. We can hopefully use tools to start wars and murder each other. I wonder how many houses we can fit in. I want this city to be visible from space. Okay, with this, we're going to have 100 free spaces. I'm not sure who's maintaining all of these houses, but it's not my problem. We got tools that mean we're getting an extra one wood per second and also one wood per click, but we're about to make copper, which can create spearmen. So in total, we're currently getting 0.5 food per second and one wood per second. But the more people we have, the more we're going to add to our passive food income. I think every 10 adds to it. Then again, maybe more people is causing us to eat more food. So we're at 1.1 per second. That means we're actually gaining just from doing nothing. Oh, there was an in-between something that I didn't see so i guess now we're researching copper spearmen so do these people like expand on their own or do i need to do it it is much easier to build houses when you're getting two per click it turns out having too many houses causes risk of fire which uh, actually works out pretty good for me. I like to consider that population control. If the population gets too big, fire evens it out. See, at this point, houses are on fire, but if I keep adding people, they'll eventually put out the fires and sort of find their adequate living space, just like that. I need to reach 100 population to gain another worker, so we're just going to click through. We're at 64 currently. I've got such a strong population, but they have no technology or tools. They're just toiling around in the mud. And there's 100, so we're back to one food production per second. And since the spearman is done, I can now start a quest to uh probably hurt the neighbors this quest is visiting the neighbor tribe we have a reward of three options its difficulty is easy uh, i haven't been a very good parent so i'm gonna give my kids an easy quest your best and brightest have departed the village they will be missed the star is shaking because we've already done whatever we needed to get it uh de defeat mammoths at least once and that's gonna unlock walls for a hill fort I think we're going to want walls in a hill fort before maybe some of this other stuff. But then again, why would we pick and choose? I think we can get them all. We've gained our first hero, Daniel Burlock. Is that, am I understanding this correctly? We've got ourselves a hero. Hopefully he does his proud by doing whatever he's supposed to be doing. In the meantime, I'm going to keep forcing people into small huts. Oh, I can actually make spearmen now. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, so if I click on this uh, about 45 times, we're going to get a Spearman. We're supposed to use it during a crisis to uh, handle the threat. I think I click this. I don't know what constitutes a crisis, but I feel like we're going to be causing a crisis or two for the neighbors. We found the neighbor village. The inhabitants of this village express latent hate and mildly racist remarks towards your hygiene standards and government policies. So to counter that, we're going to perform a paid lecture on etiquette. There's a 40% chance the risk of war for a few minutes, but we gain 240 something. Oh, we can't build spearmen for that long. I wish I'd have understood that. For now, we're going to start researching lumber mill. And the gold we got from the neighbors, we can use to uh, do a whole bunch of different things, like a research grant. For now, I'm just going to hoard my gold like a dragon until I find something fun to use with it. Uh, we have too much free space as well, so we need more people because I think our village is on fire again. My first crisis is here. Select a unit to deal damage. I don't think I have spearmen available. Maybe I do. Build stronger units. You can build military units while in combat. Well, you see, that's the problem. Oh, I can't build spearmen again great so as long as i keep building spearmen they'll fight back the barbarians and eventually that red line will go away and then we'll win i just gotta click and click and click there was a rather big explosion going on in my <laughs> world but i feel like that's nothing out of the ordinary a little fire is natural in this world uh, the spearmen seem to be stepping up to the task of defeating them so i think we've defeated the barbarians never mind there's more uh, i don't know why but this thing is now on fire as well so i don't really know what's happening the barbarians are kind of uh taking a lot of our people away the overuse of clicking can create an uprising wait for people to cool down wait for what people to cool down i also got some new heroes so we're just gonna go ahead and um you know put them places we can also now create a workshop a forest hut so we're gonna build one of those i think it's time to invoke our next crisis uh if we defeat a mammoth we get something good to happen it's a medium difficulty so we're, <laughs> we're gonna send our little spearmen uh our actually giant spearmen army off to fight the mammoth for now the only research i have that isn't locked is pottery but that helps with our infantry which we do like for raiding the neighbors and the barbarians have returned to us 
So we're gonna try and make some more spearmen for a minute because we sent most of them out to fight the mammoths. Uh, speaking of mammoths, the mammoths have actually turned up to uh, fight me. So <laughs> that's gonna be great. I didn't know we had to go out for the mammoths. They just came to us. Mammoth hunt quest has been completed. We've defeated them and we got some new heroes. This one is a round hero. 0.1% of people killed per second, autocracy. He gets a lot of extra whatever per click. Add to base damage plus one. Yeah, well, we got room for him. Reduce all risk by 25%, but we lose 0.1% of people per second. So a thousand seconds in theory would kill everyone, sort of. I mean, our population's growing pretty quick anyway. We're just going to go ahead and turn that on. That'll kind of balance itself out. We kill one person, but we gain five. Ritual sacrifice is the way to go. So now that we've done that, I think we just got another hero, but now we can also get walls, which is going to be good. Pottery finished, so let's turn on walls and off we go. Uh, we we do need a dry storage to do that. That's 270, but that's easy. So now we can keep more soldiers, which is very important. I also got a very fancy looking hero, so we might use him. Yeah, he's got gold on the edge of his banner. He's clearly going to be better. And it's time to build the fort. This takes stones to build, but it's going to help us in crises. And given that I'm steering this ship, we're going to have a lot of crises. We're also starting to run low on free space. We've only got 50 spots, so we really need a lot more houses. We've also reached 100 population a long time ago, so we're well ahead. We can get extra stone per so we're gonna uh, research that. I need to defeat barbarians one more time too, so we're gonna try and convert their area to farmland and fight them. Your best and brightest have departed to fight barbarians, but look how many there are. We're gonna be fine. I think I also just got a special circle hero too, so we're gonna go ahead and throw him up there. He's got 70% lifesteal, and the barbarians have come to me finally for their fight, so we need to make lots of spearmen to fight them off and probably utilize all of our things. Right as my pickaxe research got done, so we're now making the hill fort even quicker. I've defeated the threat thanks to my hill fort and spearmen. And that means I've unlocked the plow, which means our food production goes up by 25%. That's actually going to be huge because it's already at 5 per second. And we got our first square hero. Plus 14% wood per second, adds 1 base damage, exploitation 25% per click. Yeah, whatever, get in there. The plow is done, the barracks would be nice. What do we need to do? We need to do 8 quests. Okay, we're going to make flour in the meantime. We're just going to go ahead and visit the tribe. This is easy. I'm pretty sure I just send some idiots over there to chat and we win. Uh, another technology done. So apparently up until now, they didn't understand breeding. I'm not sure where the people were coming from, but we're going to go ahead and help them out with that. Then we probably need more spearmen. I feel like spearmen are really going to be our uh, glory. We're just going to be a warrior nation. We're going to destroy everyone. That's how we're going to survive. We've discovered a foreign village and they eat people alive. In fact, they've eaten your previous expedition. Well, if we scare off the cannibals, we lose three spearmen, but we can 360 people and I'm all about sacrifice. And I mean, it's easy to make spearmen, especially now that we've unlocked breeding, so that should help us get to where we're going in a hurry. And we currently have 3 out of 3 spearmen slots filled, so we're okay. But we do need a windmill, millstone, that takes these two to go into there, and we've unlocked a new area. I've sent some of my spearmen units back to the cannibal village or whatever resides there now. We need to finish more quests. We have a lot of free space, we need more people. Okay, if I click on this, it gives me a whole bunch of people, so we're up to almost a thousand population now. Most of which are just toiling away in the mud, but Population is population. We've discovered another foreign village. Dirty inhabitants who do not know the secret of fire. Offer a lucrative reconstruction investment. Yeah, I want money. We're going to lose 20% wood production, but that's fine. I can just click to make up for it, and then we got more gold. So I'm basically just going to keep harassing this village to finish my quests. And while we're doing that, we're going to produce more people and mud huts. Uh, I should probably also make a windmill that's going to give me passive uh, flowers and flower. We get four bricks per click, so it doesn't take long to get the 350 we need. And while it's active, it generates food, so we can click to activate. Our natural food production is at negative 1.5 per second. Uh, if we don't have the <laughs> thing going, it's even worse. But we're about to break 1,000 population for the first time. There we go, 1,008, as we got another dilemma card. You have discovered a foreign village. The inhabitants worship strange gods. Start a 2,000 years long religious dispute? Absolutely. And for some reason that fixed our food problem. Maybe our idiots came back. But we got a lot of people. We're gonna go fight some more barbarians, uh, just because we need the farmland. We want the farmland. We have too much space again, so we're starting fires. It costs 500 growth to get more people now, but we do get 25 at a time. Plus, I can just click on this, I guess, and that gives us a whole bunch of people and much less space, because our thing's getting hot from clicking. But the quest is about done, so we got barbarians coming in. But we can activate sort of our things, and that should help us out in a big way. We're gonna send our spearmen to deal with them while making new spearmen. I think a lot of our heroes were damage-oriented anyway, so 
that should help us do the damage we need to defeat the barbarians quite quickly. Yes, we defeated the threat, we made that one look easy. We did get four round heroes by this point, so I might be able to merge them into something better. Nope, but if I'm understanding that correctly, I can combine two of these types to get an even better type. Not entirely sure what just happened or where he went. I can combine these four into this one. <laughs> well, okay, uh, we got different heroes, so that's something. And we're about to finish off this neighboring village. That was going to be the final quest. Okay, instead of that, we're going to do the Mammoth Forest. Uh, we get resources if we do this. Something is on Big Crisis. Okay. We're also going to build a hill fort because we needed a new one of those. That's going to help us defend against whatever's about to attack us. And off my little minions go to start a fight with the neighbors. The Clear Forest quest has been completed. It's just that easy. That's our eighth quest. So that means we can get the Warrior Code, the Barracks. I think that's all already done so now we can make an encampment plus two fort capacity unit damage plus 300 that's insane now we're really going to be able to murder those barbarians so we need a 200 population to unlock this so we're clearly doing things the right way have three fort units and that's going to give us the bow and archer we need all of this to get division of labor for now we're going to get the money marketplace and while we're waiting for that we're going to get more hill forts we need three of them for our objective so there we go and now we can make archers already the marketplace is going to produce for us gold passively we have 326 currently because because we merge some heroes together for some reason. Marketplace done. Now we'll passively get gold we can spend on whatever we happen to need at the time. Uh, I think my spearmen automatically turn into archers. Yes, so they're doing five to nine damage, which is huge. We also got some new heroes. These guys look fancy. They have a gold rim and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and utilize these straight away. Or we could merge them. And uh, what do we do? We merge them and they disappear. Maybe there's a chance they don't do it. I maybe should have read this better. Oh, I think we're actually selling the heroes instead of, um, yeah, I probably should have paid attention to what things do. You know what? That's okay. We're all heroes here. So now we're going to research division of labor. Uh, until completed, this research causes risk of a social crisis. Yeah, that's fine. And things are looking up. We're entering a different age. We have a very high chance of crisis. But that went off without a hitch. So now we just need to decide where we want to go. We've already got a thousand population. We need 5,000 gold and 30 quests. Gold production is slow currently. We'll maybe have to increase that more than anything. And I'm just going to have my idiots constantly doing quests. We need to finish 20, finish 30, have 1,000, have 5,000 gold. Oh, we can actually sell stone. For, okay, so if we produce stone, it turns into gold. Great, easy. Uh, apparently our people are also starving, so, and we have a level 8 Inferno going on, so that's actually kind of a good result. There's a level 8 Inferno, and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing to compensate for that, so I'm just going to start clicking on all my abilities and everything I got, and yeah, that actually knocked it down quite a bit. Do I fight the Inferno with my archers? Is that what it wants? Yeah, that actually works. If I use the archers, it will actually fight against this, so I've got a few minutes to try and defeat this thing. Why have 48 seconds to try and defeat the Inferno while everyone's starving? Maybe wasn't adequately set up for a level 8 Inferno. But these things just sort of happen sometimes. But whatever I did, I actually just knocked it down a whole long ways using some of my abilities. So we might actually get ahead of it, but only barely. Uh, it's going to be close. We're going to wait. Why, why isn't that working? Did I already use those? Where's my fourth thing? Not really sure what happened there or why it stopped working, but the crisis seems to mostly be gone. We do have a lot of starving people, however. Now we've got a level 8 grade uprising. Couldn't imagine why we're doing such a bang-up job of leading this civilization. I guess my strategy of building a massive population, oh, that's pushing us backwards, was the wrong way to do it because I didn't really set up the way to feed or, uh, you know, <laughs> maintain order. I just built a big population hoping they could murder everyone. Well, I've always been pretty good at lighting things on fire and completely ruining great civilizations. To be honest, I'm just surprised it took this long to have a great uprising. 